So I think there's a number of different reasons why we would want to um, value public sector data. And I think the one of the first is, is to make the case for investing in improving it. So I think if you speak to many public sector organisations, one of the strongest or most uh, resistant barriers, if you like, to change with regards to ambitions around becoming data driven is, is really the sort of the quality and the management of the data. And in many ways and in many cases, that's that's not always something that's that cheap to fix. And so when you're making the business case, one of the things that you have to be able to do is put something in the benefits column. And you need a way of articulating what is our value, what is our value in our data and how will that change with or without the prescribed intervention. Um, so that would be one way, um, one reason to think about valuing your data. I think another one would be um, then to prioritise of all the things you could do with your data, which ones would you do and why? Um, and again, that tends to be a challenge for public sector organisations. So understanding is it is the challenge here really about um, how we analyse the data? Is it how we manage it? Is it how we clean it? Is it how we protect it? They're all very valid questions, um, but the budgets aren't limitless. And so we need a way of being able to describe, actually, this is the most valuable data, and these are the things that we need to do that will give us the best return on investment when it comes to improving it. And I think if you if you sort of take a step up for a moment and think longer term, one of the things that we hear more and more about at the moment is the idea of monetizing data. So actually treating data as though it's an asset on a balance sheet. Um, which is a sort of a relatively new field, but it's not too hard to imagine a future where um, some of the some of the you know the key stakeholders in the wider ecosystem would see enough value in public sector data that they may want to procure that data and to use it for public good. And I guess you know the the final reason that I would I would offer is that if we were to find ourselves in that scenario. The first thing that we would all want as taxpayers to understand is how have we brokered the most effective and beneficial deal um, with the private sector, with those who want to use it um, to, you know, to generate public good, um, and you know how how do we describe what that what that value equation looks like, such that we can all understand in return for providing access to that data, this is this is what we're going to get.